Hello, I'm Jim from the Midwest Fun Page. This is an editorial on the recent Smashing Pumpkins announcement that they're going to get back together with James Eha and Jim Cherylin. Pretty much the, the Jimmies. <laughs> uh, and previous member forget his name, Les M. Schroeder, is probably going to play bass. Probably going to play, play bass. But they're going to go out this summer, and uh, I don't know what they're going to do. It makes no sense. It, it, it's just James E. Haas back in the band. Now, Jimmy Chamberlain is back in the band, but I th think he's been gone for about five years. He wasn't uh, he he was the only guy that was brought back when they reformed the band. So for a number of years, Billy would argue with the crowds, and he would get in arguments with people in the front row, asking for play the original hits. Where's Darcy? Where's James? Now I can understand that. It was a bitter kind of breakup. Nah, I'm not going to say it wasn't Billy's fault. I wasn't there. I don't know. But the way he was defending himself seemed ridiculous. And he would go to the media and he would tell them, I'm not a nostalgia act. I'm not just going to play the hits. And plus, those guys are not there. Well, you kind of are a nostalgia act. And just because Guns N' Roses went on tour last year, made tons of money, doesn't mean that's what's going to happen with the Smashing, Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, and they did that with a lot of people other than the original lineup. I was there. I, I saw two shows. Of the Guns N' Roses or the Guns N' Roses tour, and they were working their ass off, and they were looking like they were having fun. I had never seen the Smashing Pumpkins look like they were having fun on stage. Now, that's the Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, this was before uh, 2001. Okay, those people did not look happy. To be performing on stage. Now, after Darcy left, and after James left, and even after Jimmy left, I actually saw a smile on Billy's face. What I'm really thinking is there's some truth to this Darcy interview. She she claims that Billy stated that he's kind of in a hole with all this wrestling he uh, he invested in and he basically put money in a bur you know a burning building with TNA and sued him got some of that money back left that organization, but went back and bought, bought NWA. They don't even have TV, I don't believe. At least, I, I don't hear anything. They don't do pay-per-views. That's how you make money in wrestling, is you have TV and pay-per-views and live shows that tour. They might have live shows that tour, but you can't find any of them on the internet. And the wrestling community doesn't report on them. They're just kind of a territory that wrestles once a month. Now, I can see you losing money in that. Now, the situation he's got himself in is kind of like buying a classic car. You really can't take it on 
a road trip because every time you leave the garage, something can happen to it and it's expensive to fix. And he needs money to fix it, or he claims, or Darcy claims, but I can see that situation being true, and him, you know, wanting to put the pumpkins back together just for that, now you're doing it just for the money, which, it's sad, I'll, I'm gonna go see it, I'm gonna go see it, but, why did you take so long to do this? It makes no sense at all. This is what your fans have been wanting. This is what everybody has been wanting. This is why you you argued with the fans at your shows back in the middle 2000s. I think like 2008. I've, I've seen the Pumpkins at least 10 times after the last album. Or after they got back together. And every show was a fight with the crowd. It made no sense. Finally, you're giving us what we wanted. But why? Why now? Why couldn't you do it years ago? I know that Guns N' Roses went on tour last year. And they made millions of dollars. And it, I think it's just for the money. Now, am I going to go? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to go. I might see him twice. Might see him twice. But I can't believe that they found investors that are willing to pay for a half-ass reunion of the Smashing Pumpkins. But if they do come to your town, make sure you see them. Because... The Smashing Pumpkins, when they in, in their heyday, were a magical force that you didn't see every day, and you got a real show out of it. They they paid attention to the detail, and they made sure they sounded great. And why would they not do that now? I'm Jim from the Midwest Fun Page, and this was an editorial. I don't usually comment on stuff like this. I usually comment on roller coasters or do magical videos. <laughs> That's Midwest Heather in the background. That's her alarm to get up. Have a great day. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.